Sunday, you guys. It is a little tricky in spots, but for the most part, we're looking at a day and really a week ahead where temperatures are going to be running above the average. So heading outdoors this morning, yes, there's been a little bit of shower activity and temperatures have been on the colder side, but we're going to add 10 to 12 degrees to the numbers that you see on the thermometer right now. We're going to go into the 50s tomorrow, and so it's part of the pattern that will take us back above average. Temperatures are in the upper 20s to the Mid-Hudson Valley. We've got near the freezing point as you get close in with the suburbs, but for the boroughs, um, temperatures are really warm and then we've got 41 in Belmar. It feels a lot more mild out there as well. Winds will remain low. There's a winter weather advisory for Bridgeport eastward that goes until 9 a.m. Showers there are already starting to fade and the temperatures are climbing quickly as well. So it's a light wintry mix north and east remaining here and, and then that will be outside of the city. Slick spots are possible north where we saw the showers overnight because the temperatures have been colder there so there could be some freezing but we'll see everyone climbing up above 32 degrees by the 9 o'clock hour and so that advisory will be allowed to expire and we go throughout the day with a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures going up well above average. In fact once we get rid of these showers we're going to be dry for the next several days and the future cast is showing us that it doesn't take too long to get that moisture out of here. High resolution showing that we do have some clouds coming and going throughout the afternoon today but it actually turns out to be very uh, easy to take with the temperature so you don't need the extra heavy coat instead 46 is going to feel pretty pleasant uh, tonight temperatures stay at 38 degrees well above freezing here in the city some outlying areas could get colder and that could create that freeze thaw cycle which makes things tricky early in the morning hours but then we return to 53 tomorrow afternoon and more melting. So all the snow we've got across the area from the last uh, week or so of these tiny doses of snow should quickly and rapidly melt and get out of here. It's time for the holiday weekend where we'll see temperatures above average and some showers.